Okay, good day everyone. Today I'm going to share is about HIK Vision Face Recognition System. Okay, as you see over here, I have on my right, my left hand side, they have a facial comparison. So on my the, this camera. So this is how the way, how, now how I'm going to deploy this system. So over here, they have a data sheet I mentioned that how we deploy our facial recognition system. So as you see, um, so they have a facial capture camera but how are we going to check whether the camera are under face capture so we have to check on the data sheet okay so on the data sheet over here i have a 2046 okay as you see over here they have uh, many of the uh, information so we have to take a look precisely no we can find you just go going to control f to type face enter enter okay you're just looking for those have a mention face capture is mentioned yes that means this camera are able to do the face recognition system okay so this is a face capture but i take another model this is a 2cd 2043gu for this you just control f you're looking for the face as i over here they have a, in the deep learning function they don't have the face capture so that's why this camera are not able to do the uh, face recognition system so we have to select this camera ds2cd 2046iu this camera are able to do the face recognition system okay talking about mvr so of course the ids 7732 and xi m4 is able to do a uh, facial comparison and facial recognition so my another MVR like this yes is able to do so so as you see they have facial recognition but they are limit for four channel okay so this is how going to do the facial recognition system okay how we deploy the system within what we need okay thank you okay now we on the setup part okay so we now have to set up the camera first uh, firstly so we have to go to the SATP so under my SATP you can see I have uh, two products over here one is the MBR one is the cameras okay so the camera you can activate by using these tools we call it SATP so we just create just activate it lah. So you take your device and put your desired password. So you click the activations. Okay, after you activate, you edit your. Uh, you can edit. They can put up the security question. So from over here, there's up to you want to put what. So as me as I example, I just put one two three. Okay. So confirm ready. So we close. Okay. So we take this device and change the IP address according your network so I put the camera activation password okay. so I modification successfully already so we go into the cameras so we go in the browser 192 1.10.101 Okay, so over here we put back admin and put your, uh, your camera password inside. So you over here you can see the configuration, you enter configuration. Do you notice that I have one thing? Okay, over the VCA resources here, you click the VCA resources, they have a face capture. So you have to change your camera to be a face capture. So we take this face capture and we click the save. Then the device will be reboot after changing the setting. You click OK. So the camera will be booting. Okay, so we reboot 
while we repeating, we try, try to refresh the page. So after we refresh the page, yes, we are able to access the camera again. So I have one to done little bit explanation over here. Okay, so over here we are able to enter the configuration again. So once we enter the configuration, do you notice on your left your left hand side they have a face capture setting already? So we take a look at the face capture setting. Yes, you are able to see a lot of the function already that have a resolution and so on. So there is nothing you can do over here, but I want to do a little explanation about here. So uh, once configuration this part, they have a two type we call best shot and quick shot. Best shot is uh, according the way they will get the very good picture to do a comparison. Quick shot they will not use very good picture but he have better fast comparison. So that is up to you but usually by default we just leave it for the best shot to do. Okay so that is for the camera settings. Okay, so now we have to activate the MVR. So we go back to our SATP. You pick the MVR. Okay, they will ask you for the new password. Okay, just key the password. Up. Okay, this password is your desired password. Okay, as you see over here, they have a channel password. This channel password is represent to activate the camera password. Okay, so we activate it. So we click cancel and confirm. Okay, now we have to edit the IP address according our same network. Okay. Okay. So we key in the administrator password and everything. So we take modify here. So now the camera already done the modification. So we now enter the MBR. So we key in the username and the password. Okay, so we type over here, we go to the configurations. So going to camera management, so we add the camera inside. So if you want to do, you just add a quick add. So quick add, they will doing the search into your network. So they will search all the camera HIK vision device over here. So as, long, as you see here, they already done the uh, search, you just click it and click OK. So the camera are done ready to adding to the system. So now I want to do the face comparison setting. So over here, we go into the event, go into the human face comparison. So from the human face comparison, you just enable it, you do. So this is how we done the whole setting for those face comparison. So my next uh, video will show that is how to use this face comparison on the MDR side. Okay, so we have to go to the MDR side local display. Okay, so we enter our NVR local display. So I have uh, shared those configuration of the camera, configuration of the NVR through the web viewer. Okay, so now we enter this local display. Okay, first of all, this is mouse, so we just right click it, enter the menu. If I ask you the NVR password, you just key in your NVR password. Okay, so they can ask you to unlock the password. Yeah, yeah. You can ignore it. Okay, so we go to the configuration. So I want to connect this MDR to the uh, web uh, to the mobile viewer. So how are we going to use mobile? So yeah. make sure your network parameters are correct. Then you go into platform access. Then you go to enable it. Then you take the HIP connect. Okay. Then you click. Uh, but for me, I disable the screen encryption. Uh. Okay. So we click apply. So it's showing connecting. 
So it's done online already. That means this QR code are able to scan already. So you going, you just using your mobile. Go to the HRK Connect. You just press plus, scan the QR code. Scan the QR code. Alright, so done already. You just add into it. So just click next. Skip. Okay, so done already. So you're able to view the camera over here already. <coughs> so I want I press the upper arm button first. Lah. Okay. So it's done already. So we nothing to do over here. But I put my dis uh, my display over here. I back to the this screen. Okay. So we go we double check on those face comparisons I think. So you go into the camera, go into the uh, camera correct already connected. Go into the event, face recognition, face capture already done, face picture comparison. Yes, we need to create a library. So we need to create a library. So we go into the app. So key in the library. So this is the NVR password. We have to key in to enter the library section. So then we create the library. So for me, I just put the IP. So it's done ready. So nothing I can do over here. But now I done all the setting. The pro the problem is I don't have any picture. So you can search your picture, get the picture over your record. I have a done scanning just now. So we'll go into the humans, looking for not matches. We search on it. You will show that my picture over here. You just click. You just click on it. Click on it. Add to face. And I put that E E C H R. Okay. So I click. Okay. So done. Ready. Importing. Now I want to do a testing. But before that, I want this mobile to have a notifications. So going to the configurations. Going back those uh event face recognitions. They have a face picture comparison, right? Okay. So this is the listing. Okay. So this is the listing of the library. So it's the library. You click apply. Okay. Then you go into admin schedule. You make sure all is arm. Okay. You go into linkage session. That means when the uh, camera articulates somebody inside the list list, it will have a trigger of this order linkage. So what we're going to do, we take the notify surveillance center. Apply. So make sure the one I've already take. Okay, this is they recognize somebody. Okay, so we'll go into live, live free, live view. Then go into target sessions. Okay, I stand there again. Okay. So they have a they have face picture show face picture coming out also and also the face notification. So they're coming out, you can see the face already here, you can click the playback immediately, you can see the playback. Okay. Hmm. So this is how the system works. Okay. So this is how the face recognition works. Okay, thank you and please like and subscribe to my channel.